In today's video, I'm going to show you how to restore a backup from Google Drive back to the Synology using Hyper Backup's Restore option. Hi, my name is Tony, and if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. A few weeks ago, I did a video called How to Backup from Synology to Google Drive using Hyper Backup. Today, we're going to reverse that process and we're just going to simply restore from Google Drive back to the Synology. Now, if you missed that video, I'll put a link down in the video description below as well as up above. If you happen to watch that video, you'll remember that I created a backup on this music folder. And at that time, I had a folder with Van Halen songs inside this folder. Now you'll see that this folder is empty. I did that intentionally for the purpose of this video so that you can see once the restoration process has completed, the folder with the Van Halen songs will be restored and available here. Let's jump over real quick to the Google Drive and here you'll see the Hyper Backup folder and files. And if we click on that, you'll see all the proprietary files inside. So how do we go from here, which is unusable files to us, to getting back to usable files, friendly usable files in the music folder? Well, that's what we're going to show you now. Let's go up to the main menu in the upper left hand corner of the screen and click on Hyper Backup. Here you see the backup task that we created in that last video. You can see that we've had successful backups. In fact, the most recent one was today, 526. Let's come on over to the left pane and we're going to come down and we're going to click the restore icon and then select data. Here we have to pick the task. So we're going to select Google Drive one and then click next. And now it's searching for the available configuration files. At this point, we can go ahead and leave it set to the default where it says do not restore system configuration and click next. However, that will restore the most recent instance of the backup. If you wanted to go back to a different instance of the backup, you can click here. And then from the drop down menu, you can choose the backup that you wish to restore. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to leave it set to do not restore system configuration. That's fine. Let's go ahead and click next. Okay, now you see here in the timeline all the backups that have been done since we created that video. Now here, you see the little warning icon. It says this shared folder exists on your disk station and will be overwritten by the selected previous version. And that's fine, but now I just want you to go with me here for a second. We only had one folder in there when we created the backup task and it was a folder of Van Halen music. But let's just say we had folders for several artists and we just wanted to back up only the Van Halen. Let's say, holy cow, we accidentally deleted it from the file station. Well, we can just come to this screen here and select the Van Halen folder and it would restore that folder only. However, if we wanted to do a full backup, for whatever reason, we accidentally deleted the music folder in its entirety from the file station. Then we can just click here and it will select everything, all the subfolders inside the music folder. So we're going to do that here. We're going to go ahead and say next. And then we're going to say apply. And now the restoration process has begun. And you can see now it says the process has succeeded. So let's go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to leave this screen up for a minute because I want to come back to it in a second. Let's come on over to the file station. Now remember the music folder was empty prior to the restoration. So we click on the music folder. There we have our Van Halen folder and we have our songs inside. Jumping back to this window here, I just wanted to point out that today we did what's called a full restore using the restore icon. However, Hyper Backup also has a program called Backup Explorer, which allows you to view the files in the Hyper Backup proprietary folder and restore them one at a time back to the Synology or even back to 
a third party location like an external drive. Now, if you want to see how that's done, I did a video on that process probably about two years ago. I'll put a link to that down below as well as up above. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.